hi guys welcome to nothing geek tv and today i got honor 6 plus handset with me uh we'll be seeing what kind of stuff is in present sight in the box and uh uh of the first impressions of the device and also checking a few other things so friends as you can see uh this is the device uh very nice device i'll just uh keep it uh, to get uh, booted and uh, let's check the other stuff inside the phone so this is the pin to uh, eject the port for uh, the sim card and uh, this is the screen guard which is present in the box there might be more stuff let's open these two boxes so friends this is the first uh, box which I've opened and there is user manual and warranty card and uh, uh, earlier I showed you uh, now uh, there was another screen guard in this box so we are having two screen guards which is a really nice thing in the second box which I opened is I got uh, uh, USB a charger and uh, a socket to put in uh, the charger and charge the phone now let me come to the device I have already booted it and uh, let's see guys uh, it's a really a uh, good looking phone which I'm uh, holding in my hand uh, the back plate uh, got metal on uh, sorry glass on it there are dual cameras these 8 megapixel camera with flash also i'm uh front i have a 8 megapixel camera with flash and uh, there are no uh, buttons on the bottom but on the screen only it's a 5.5 inch full hd display uh, the side bezel is complete metallic and these are the ports to insert the sim card and the memory card slot and i got a the volume rocker power on of keys let me open these slots for you so guys uh, this is a tray uh, which uh, I have just removed and similar way we can remove the other tray as well even this is a uh, metallic which is a really nice thing uh, uh, nice uh looking things bezel is nice on the top i got 3.5 uh jackpot uh secondary mic for uh noise cancellation at the bottom i got primary mic for voice input and 3.5 jackpot honor logo sets at the back uh, so the weight is good and uh, the device overall uh, feels premium let me turn the uh of the automatic brightness and adjust the brightness uh, so that uh, you might take a solid look at the display yep so now let me show you uh, the internal storage on the device so guys uh, total is 25.77 GB phone storage is 32 GB and free is 23.45 GB I have installed a few uh, uh, a couple of apps to three four apps and there are some pictures and videos as well so around about you'll get 25 GB of free space and around 7 GB of space is used by the OS now uh, it is showing me option to mount the SD card that I will show you in the full review however uh, the option is to uh, uh, mount the uh, USB storage as well this thing I will demonstrate you right now let's check uh, even I don't know whether this phone supports OTG or not so uh, I'll just put in the OTG cable so I have put in the OTG cable and the pen drive is attached so it has selected my USB storage uh, total space guys you can see uh, 7.53553 uh, 5, GB and free is 5.41 GB uh, so the uh, videos uh, or the stuff of my pen drive must be uh, uh, is has been detected by uh, the phone and it I'll play a video it's a review of Honor 4X and guys 
you can see all the stuff is clearly I visible here. So good enough. So uh, we have uh, made completely sure that this phone supports OTG cable. Uh, let me show you a few other things. So good amount of shortcuts are present here. You can tweak uh, as many things. Uh, turn on the torch and uh, use the phone. Uh, take a screenshot. Uh, use the ultra battery mode restart. Turn on the GPS stuff like that. Uh, let me go to the settings home screen style can be changed to this window style uh, thing and uh, i have big tiles uh, here uh, which is uh, again a nice thing uh, for people wanting big fonts and big stuff i'll just go back to the standard thing uh, coming back to the settings so i have wi-fi bluetooth uh, I also have NFC uh, which enables uh, high speed data transfer among phones which are NFC compatible. Power saving mode, all these mode, touch plus motion control, uh, the phone supports, uh, you know, flip to mute if any call is coming, I can simply flip the phone, pick up to reduce ring volume, uh, raise to ear, raise to make calls. Uh, you can simply raise your phones to your ear if you're reading a message of any person and it will uh, connect you to that person shake to rearrange stuff tell to move icons widgets and keyboard uh let's see the touch plus so uh, as you can see i can assign different uh, things uh to uh, different corners of the screen which is a nice thing it says after you apply the film with three navigation keys icons to your phone new touch control areas which shortcuts will be available so new shortcuts will come at uh, the corners of the screen guys about the phone uh, the phone is running emui uh, 3.0 uh, version and uh, it's running on android kitkat 4.4.2 Moving on, uh, I ran uh, benchmarks also, I'll show you that. So the phone uh, got N22 benchmark score of 43,546, which is simply fantastic. It got two quad core uh, chipsets. One is for high performance and one is for low performance, which uh, saves the battery. Uh, on the battery front, the backlit is non-removable and the battery is a massive 3600 milliamp hour battery. So uh, the phone has been ranked above HTC One M8, Huawei Mate 7, Xiaomi Mi 4, Samsung Galaxy S5, and uh, Google Nexus 5. Uh, let me show you the multi-touch on the phone, guys. Let's see. 5. So that's pretty cool. It's a point multi-touch which is more than enough for any game or any existing app as of date before ending let's check out the sensors too so there is a direction sensor gravitation sensor acceleration sensor light sensor e-compass proximity sensor gyro sensor linear acceleration and rotation vectors are also supported so that guys this phone supports almost all the sensors uh, which are needed to play games and apps overall in my first impression i'm liking this phone it feels like a premium device but there are many things to test like whether the phone heats up or not or what about the battery and whether the apps are movable to sd and uh, how the uh, phone handles heavy games. I'm sure it can handle them well, but then heating up has to be checked since the backlit is is a, a bit uh, glass and camera too. It's eight megapixel. The USB is it's a dual camera as you can see. So uh, who I who are these people say is on people say that this uh, phone got a better camera than iPhone six. So we'll have to check all those things uh, and for that you need to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right of your screen so that you don't miss out on the video and thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe see ya next time